Welcome to the graduation of Sangamon County Corrections Academy, Cadet Class 2007. For those of you joining us today, please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose rough stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the Again, thank you for joining us today for the graduation of Cadet Class 2007. 2007 started their journey August 2nd, 2020, and yesterday, September 4th, marked their last day of training. You may not know this, but we started a partnership with the Sangamon County Sheriff's Office this past summer. Today is the first graduation of the Sangamon County Corrections Academy at the Macon County Law Enforcement Training Center. I'd like to now introduce Illinois State Police Chaplain Steve Holden for the invocation. Thank you, Commander Williams. Let me add my voice to those that are gathered here and to the staff in my congratulations, our blessings to the graduates for the work they've done and the accomplishments that they've made. If you would now, join me for a word of prayer as we ask God's blessing and His favor upon this class. Father in heaven, for what you've brought to these people, and for the calling that you've put upon their lives. Lord, let it be one that will be strengthened as the years go by, even though the questions will come. Lord, and as we think about the duties that we're about to discharge, may we have your divine protection, your divine wisdom, your divine strength, but Lord, most of all, your divine compassion. Let that rest upon your families. Let there be no fear of retributions. Father, let them build a family united under your household and under your mercy. And we thank you for the districts that they'll be going to, the duties that they'll discharge, and Father, most importantly, for the lives that they'll touch with their own compassion. We ask this blessing upon them now, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Holden. Could I now ask Deputy Commander Tom Snyder to come to the podium for a few words? Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Snyder and I'm the Deputy Commander of the Macon County Law Enforcement Training Center. We are here today to celebrate the graduation of Class 20-07. Before we get started, I'd like to do some introductions. Present with us today at our graduation is Commander Tad Williams, Commander of the Macon County Law Enforcement Training Center. Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell, Lieutenant Bill Strayer, Sangamon County Corrections Academy Director, Sergeant Edward Clark of the Sangamon County Sheriff's Office. Ed Culp, Director of Training, Macon County Law Enforcement Training Center. Dennis Arnold, Class Coordinator, Macon County Law Enforcement Training Center. And Terry Abranowitz, Operation Coordinator, Macon County Law Enforcement Training Center. I'd like to give a special thanks to all support staff, instructors, and Richland Community College staff and administrators. It is a team effort and we are proud of what we've accomplished during these unprecedented times. I also want to thank the following County Agency's sheriffs and administrators for partnering with us and allowing us to provide their officers with training at our academy. Those counties are Champaign, Christian, Clay, Crawford, Douglas, Henry, Knox, Lake, Macon, Logan, Marshall, McLean, Menard, Moultrie, and Sangamon. 
I would like to make some remarks regarding our Cadet Class 20-07. Cadet Class 20-07 began their journey the evening of Sunday, August 2, 2020. Today, September 5th, marks their last day of the Training Academy, and we're here to congratulate them for successfully completing the 200-hour, five-week Basic Corrections Officer Academy. This academy is different than most other academies in the state of Illinois. This is the first graduating academy class for the Sangamon County Sheriff's Academy at the Macon County Law Enforcement Training Center. This academy is the only residential county corrections academy in the state of Illinois. Being a residential academy helps cadets learn and train in a professional manner, which helps them develop for their future jobs as correctional officers. It is a very structured environment that follows a paramilitary philosophy. We've incorporated training beyond the basics in areas of diversity, ethics, stress management, officer wellness, scenario-based education, and de-escalation techniques. I'm also proud to tell the agency administrators that the cadets have been working hard in their off time to become PREA compliant upon graduating from our academy. Approximately 90% of the class has met that requirement. To our new correctional officers, you should be very proud right now. However, this is the first step in your professional career. Please remember that each time when you're involved in an altercation with an inmate, use your training that you received here at the academy. This will help you diffuse the situation, being professional, and remember the inmate is not doing anything personally against you. They are confined and they're going to lash out against anybody that stands between themselves and freedom. Do not take lightly the impact you can have on a person confined. You have the power to change people's lives for the better and I believe in each and every one of you. You're a special group that has chose a challenging career at one of the most difficult times that our nation has faced. Just remember to treat people the way you want to be treated and be a change agent for your agency. To this day, I call people sir and ma'am as a sign of respect. So please remember the structure and lessons that you've learned here at the academy. Just remember, respect is not given, it is earned. Now for your challenge from me to you. I want each of you to strive to be leaders in your agencies. There is no doubt you have the ability and there's a strong likelihood that someone in this class may be a future sheriff. I sat in the exact same seat as you did in Peoria 30 years ago and later became sheriff. Remember to strive to be the best you can be. In closing, please know that we are here for you now and in the future. Feel free to contact us if you ever need anything. Thank you. I would also like to introduce Sheriff Jack Campbell from the Sangamon County Sheriff's Office. Congratulations, Recruit Class 2007. Uh, I'm very happy for all of you. You made it to graduation. And the most important thing is that you gain the, the knowledge and the tools that you're going to need now to have a successful career. You know, the, the jails you'll go back to are filled with inmates that don't want to be there, that are going to look for ways to uh, throw you, looking for a way to sue you. And, and the things you learn during your time at the academy are going to, to benefit you throughout your career. So I appreciate the, the dedication that, that you showed. I, I received great reports. Uh, throughout your time at the academy from the staff and as i told you in week one that you were the first class that the Salmon county sheriff's office was putting through uh McLetzi. and uh, you, you you represented as well you set the bar uh for future classes there um you know you were the experimental class and uh, i now know that we have this great rapport with McLetzi, and we plan to continue to send uh, some of your future co-workers there too so Again, uh, go back to your agencies proud, chin held high, know that you're such an important and integral part of the criminal justice system. And you know, you're gonna, you're gonna be great. You're gonna be successful at your careers. And uh, hopefully you learn something here that uh, you'll always have with you. So uh, again, congratulations to all of you. Thank you for what you do. Um, be careful and stay safe out there. Thank you, Sheriff Campbell. Can I now call Lieutenant William Strayer the class coordinator to the podium. He has a few remarks for this class. Welcome, sheriffs, administrators, family and friends, 
of the graduating class of 2007. Sangamon County Sheriff's Office and the Macon County Law Enforcement Training Academy are here today for this proud moment of the cadet class that is graduating. I have personally enjoyed, learned, and passed on training to cadets that will help them in their career as a correctional officer. I've been involved with many training academies and numerous cadets that have become correctional officers. In my career, I have seen them transfer to patrol, become supervisors, administrators, and even sheriffs. I will leave this short in saying congratulations and good luck in your careers. Today is a special day for all of you. As a matter of fact, it's a special day for myself. I am proud to be wearing the first uniform that I was ever issued as a administrator. And that's because this day is a first for many. Again, the Sangamon County Sheriff's Office and the Macon County Law Enforcement Training Center have partnered in making one of the best academies for correctional officers. So again, I'd like to thank the sheriffs, administrators, family and friends for being here today with everyone. And I wish you all well in your career. But like many of you know, I always have one thing to add, and it's in the form of a challenge. Learn from your mistakes. Learn something new every day you are on the job and become the best correctional officer you can be. At this time, I would like to recognize the graduating class 2007 by distributing their certificates. These certificates, of course, were awarded yesterday. But at this time, we would like to recognize them for the fine work that they have accomplished. Levi Banton, Champaign County. Cesar Piccaro, Lake County. Matthew Bellavia, Lake County. Daniel Bogowiski, Lake County. Bo Bouchon, Christian County. Pamela Castillo, Lake County. Austin Daggett, Logan County. Victoria Dishnar Hatch, Knox County. Zachary Diskey, Macon County. Edmund Godomsky, Lake County. Andrew Hagen, Champaign County. Aaron Haynes, Logan County. Michael Hughes, Knox County. Dylan in Bowden, Crawford County. Kevin Klingler, Clay County. Garrett Livingston, Douglas County. Shane McNabb, Knox County. Danielle Merrifield, Macon County. Bradley Meyer, Sangamon County. Brianne Morgan, Moultrie County. Carissa Pope, Lake County. Austin Porter, Henry County. Greg Rice, Henry County. Zachary Shingleton, Macon County. Amanda Sunley, Menard County. Blake Vincent, Henry County. Hazley Wallace, Knox County. Kelsey Webb, Crawford County. 
At this time, I am honored to present two awards, the Academic and the Firearms Award. The ad Academic Award goes to Brianna Morgan, Moultrie County. At this time, the Firearms Award goes to Dylan and Bowden, Crawford County. Thank you, Lieutenant Strayer, and congratulations, corrections officers. Could I now ask Illinois State Police Chaplain Steve Holden to come back up to the podium to give the benediction. Thank you again to everyone gathered here. As we close our time together, Again, my congratulations and our thanks to the class for the accomplishments that they've made. And let me introduce you to a tradition, if there were one, that we have here. After our very first graduating class, Commander Williams' father came up to me and said, Chaplain, he says, this prayer needs to be a tradition to go forth from all the classes from here forward. We thought about it, I prayed about it, and I believe he's right. So in this benediction and closing, Class, let this not only be to you, but they'll let this be to your families. And to the families gathered here, may this blessing rest upon you as well. People are often unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered, but forgive them anyway. If you're kind, people will accuse you of selfish motives, but be kind anyway. If you're successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies, but succeed anyway. If you're honest and frank, people will cheat you, but be honest anyway. What you spend years building, someone else could destroy overnight, but build it anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they will be jealous, but be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget about by tomorrow, but do good anyway. Give the world the best that you've got, and it may never be enough, but give the world the best that you've got anyway. For you see, in the final analysis, it's between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. Now may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon you all, remain with you forever, and take this from this point forward. Amen and amen. Thank you, Chaplain Holden. To the class of 2007, congratulations. I want you to be careful out there, and I want you to treat everyone the way you want your family treated. God bless.